Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Edrald's um, Let's Play series. I'm Edrald and in this episode I'm gonna get started with a mod that um, I haven't seen anyone use like on any of the Let's Plays I watch. Um, it's called Infinitubes and I'm basically gonna use it for sorting. I'm gonna make it uh, take all of my items and put them into the chests that I uh, tell it to. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut some more wood to get the, all the materials I need and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I'm back and ready to roll. First of all I'm gonna need a compressor because one of Infinitube's recipes requires an iron block and GregTech changes it so that you can only make iron blocks if you compress them in a compressor. So I'm just gonna craft that and then I'll show you the recipes of Infinitubes. Need some copper, some rubber. Hopefully I have some rubber left. Six should be enough. Um, copper here. That was weird. All right. Electric circuit. Uh, I need six stone as well. And that should be it. Alright, and I could place it here, but the insulated copper cable loses one energy unit per five blocks. And that's five blocks, so I'm gonna put it here instead. So I don't lose any power. And the generator is. Um, giving it power directly. Alright, so I need 8 iron to be compressed and then I need to craft some of these conduits transport conduits. One block of iron uh, four iron ingots, one diamond, two redstone, one cyan die. Alright, I can handle that. Oh, guess what? I need one more iron. Oh, Alright. Perfect. Uh, one diamond, then I need to smelt some cactus to get cyan, unless I have one from before. There you go. Uh, some redstone. And that should be it. Let's see if I got it right. Perfect. Transport conduits. And I'm gonna need uh, teleposers. One diamond, two redstone, four iron. Redstone, iron, diamond. It's a little bit expensive, but you do get eight teleposers with this recipe. And finally, I need a transpressurizer, which is a block that powers the network. And luckily, I don't need diamonds for this but I do need gold and hopefully I got enough. Nine and then two. Um, okay, so the gold block, two gold ingots and then five iron ingots should get me a transpressurizer. Perfect. And I just need one of these per network because this block powers the whole network. Alright, so I want to have an input chest somewhere. Uh, like when I come back from mining, I'm gonna put the. Um, I want the ores to go here. Um, I want then the output to go uh, to the other chests. Alright, so first I'm gonna sleep. So I don't want more creepers to annoy me. And then I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna need one of these blocks here. And the green output is pointing to the hopper, so I want the... Uh, that's the input, the black thing, and that's the output, so that's perfect. 
No, um, that's the opposite of what I want. And I could turn it, but I'm just going to place it again because that's going to be easier. There you go, input here and output into the hoppers. Um, and then I'm going to need the same thing for this guy. And I can just connect, um, connect them with the conduits. And it looks kind of ugly, and um, plus I won't be able to like access this easily now. I'll have to jump. So I'm gonna think about how I wanna do it, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm crafting myself a hacksaw using the rest of my diamonds. And what you can do with this is make micro blocks. So out of cobble, I'm gonna make uh, slabs, and from slabs, I'm gonna make um, panels and from panels I'm gonna make covers and as you can see the hug saw is not losing durability so you can basically use it forever and it seems there's a little bug here that says missing cover but uh, you know when you place it in the world it's gonna be fine and you can put the micro blocks around the conduits and to hide the conduits I'm just gonna make the input point to the yellow color here and that's how I'm dealing with it. And this is going to be the same. So basically the conducts are going to be uh, going around my house, but I'm not even going to be able to see them. And they won't connect to chests, they will only connect to teleposers or uh, transpressurizers or the other uh, block which I'm not going to use yet, which is the dislocator. Alright, so it's just gonna go um, around my house. It's actually, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle, and then I'm gonna have, uh, you know, teleposers behind the chests. And I only have six left, and I cannot make any more, so I'll, I'll make sure to put them in the ones I need, they, they need the, to be sorted the most. Alright, and I'm just gonna cover all of that. And I'll make sure I report the missing texture back to the developer. Um, here I can put a block. Perfect. I think you can also use this to cover um, tubes or items from other, it from other mods. Um, haven't actually texted it, but let's see if it works with Billcraft, yep. Check that out, it's like, f uh, you know, those, um, they can cover uh, Billcraft items, b uh, pipes, that's pretty cool. And again, the saw does not lose durability, that's like the best feature ever. I'm accustomed to the red power saw that, uh, you know, has a limited uh, durability, and you gotta replace it, but this one does not. Alright, so my house looks perfect. Um, except here, of course. Okay, for now I'm just gonna have a uh, teleposer here in the ingot section and in this one coal, no, not in this one. So I'm gonna have a teleposer here uh, the top slot is what color? Um, teal. And the output slot is blue. So it's gonna take input from the network and then it's gonna output into the chest. Now what do I want it to output? Well, all the ingots. Because this is the ingot chest. Um, now basically everything that's in this chest can be outputted. And I just put it there and it's not even use it using my um, items, it's just using a ghost slot.
All right. Um, what else? Okay, let's do that for now. Then um, one, not here. I said not here. Okay, that's good for now. And I just need to give power to the network. So where am I gonna do that? Uh, why not right here? So I need a transpressurizer which will only connect from the bottom. Um, it normally would should accept energy from industrial craft, but the uh, developer hasn't uh, is waiting for a release version of industrial craft because I'm using a developer version. So for now, you can only give it um, buildcraft energy. And what I'm gonna use is a redstone engine. I'm not actually sure if it's gonna generate enough energy to um, keep it running, but I'm gonna try since redstone engines do not uh, need energy, which is very convenient. Okay, four of these to make two gears. And then two, uh, not stone gears, um, I need a piston. All right, I'll be back when I've got it ready. So I made a redstone engine and it doesn't seem to be helping much with moving items. Uh, so I think I'm gonna upgrade and I'm thinking I'm gonna use another stealing engine so let's build one of those um, alright, just need a piston now Cobal wood, perfect. Um, piece of glass and three cobal. And of course, this means that if I keep using sterling engines, I'm gonna need some automated way of getting wood, for which I have some ideas already. Stirling engine. Um, so let's place it. Let's give it some charcoal. And I don't want to have a redstone signal there. Uh, I mean, a redstone torch. I want to have a lever because it shouldn't run all the time. Um, however, how am I going to power that from here? Um, Wonder if you can cover this. Nope. I mean, not like perfectly. All right. I'm gonna think how I'm gonna do this, and I'll be back. All right. So I've decided to do it like this. I'm gonna use a wooden conductive pipe here, and below some uh, golden conductive pipes. And then I'm gonna put my engine right here, so I can trigger it by pressing this lever. And then I can just put some uh, dirt here and that looks better than the alternative. So let's see if this works. I see energy being transferred, our items being transferred. Does not seem like it. Alright, let me check what's wrong and I'll be back. Alright, so apparently the input phase should be pointing to the chest, but it's pointing to the network. So let's change that real quick. And now it should be working. Let's give it some energy. And the ingots are now flying away. And I'm guessing I haven't configured either tin or lead, so let's put that inside here as well. And we should be seeing that come in. Perfect. So now that's gonna be sorted. Um, now I I think I'll add one for these three chests for uh, you know cobble, dirt, and um, gravel, sand, and maybe for some others. And uh, I'll be back to show you. So I've added a few more teleposers, and I discovered that there was crap accumulating in here, 
and it was because this teleposter didn't have anything in the filter so it was trying to suck everything so I just put an iron ore here and uh, once I mine some other ores I'll be completing that I've also got this teleposter here that is empty uh, because it's my catch-all test uh, chest and it has a lower priority 490 in this case so the uh, items will try to go into the other teleposters first and I have one for cobble, one for dirt one for uh, sand and gravel and one for building materials and they all have a uh, higher priority than the catch-all um, teleposer so you know this is this is working great I just need to apply a little bit of energy to, for it to start um, you know moving items around and uh, um, there you go alright so I've been playing around in my creative world a little bit and I've found something that's gonna help me with my um, with my being poor with wood and apparently you can use this um, where is it called again planter and harvester to not only plant seeds but also saplings so I'm gonna grab myself some jungle saplings Um, three of them for now and um, I could either be build another setup or use this one and stop uh, getting wheat and I don't really need wheat right now um, but oh, of course uh, I don't really need wheat right now but I, I will want to uh, make it uh, make another one with wit at some point but for now I'm gonna use jungle saplings and this should work basically the same except for um, the output is gonna be jungle wood jungle saplings would go with will go under and jungle wood will go into the green one so let's see if I have some jungle wood alright let's mine some wood that looks like a nice tree and I'm uh, I really only needed one but um, I'm hoping I'll get some more saplings as well probably should have broken some leaves now I'm hoping I'll get two more saplings then I'll be able to make a huge tree and uh, I wonder if these are um, jungle leaves or just regular oak ones alright did you give me any saplings any saplings yet? Um, it does not look like it alright I just need two guys come on alright well no matter because once I start growing these guys uh, I'll be able to get a lot of saplings do I have bone meal let's get some bone meal which is probably in my random chest um, Did I use all of it? I think I used all of it. Dang it. Alright, well, tonight some skeletons are gonna regret the day they were born. Mm, jungle wood in the green. And some more jungle saplings. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So, tonight I kill some skellies. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna sort all of my stuff and I'll be back alright so while I wait for the night I thought I'd made myself a um, a new tinkers construct tool um, the one that would kill would kill skeletons would be nice so I can charge and launch I think the longsword is gonna be perfect for that so I need 
uh, those patterns. Um, Alright, how do I know which patterns are they? Oh. Alright, so let's craft some empty patterns. Two sakura plants, sticks and wood. And I already have a two rod pattern, so I don't need another one. Yeah, that should be enough. Uh, so I need, let's see again, long sword. Um, this thing here, and this thing here, and the two rod. So I would assume this is the one. And handguard. That's that does look like it. Let's see again. So I don't wanna waste even if it's just a little bit. Yeah, it's probably that. Did I lose it? Alright, let's try that. And then Sword blade material cost 1, handguard material cost 0 0.5, and then a tool rod which is 0 0.5. So of course I want to use a uh, more durability, so I'll use my slime crystal um, for the tool rod, and then the rest I'm just going to use all good old regular iron. Now eventually I want to move on to better materials. And that's I'm probably cover gonna cover that up in another episode. Uh, but for now, these materials are just good enough. So handguard, perfect. And now I just put it together. Et voila. Blade of Doom. Perfect. And of course, I can upgrade this uh, machine, this um, blade, and it has uh, three modifiers. Perfect. Now, I don't know what the modifiers actually do, but you know what? Right now, I don't care. And it seems like some of my glass disappeared. That's no fun. So, I have no armor. And I'm about to go on an adventure to kill some skellies. Cotton, barley, where's my food? Perfect. Mm, not perfect, I don't have a lot of food. Let's see, or maybe my jungle tree grew already. Uh, nope. This is not running. Uh, it is okay. Gonna need to give it some more charcoal. Now the desert is a perfect place to find mobs. There are no trees that can hide them. There's just. Oh look at that! I just jumped toward the skelly. One bone meal. And I'm about to die already. Oh, you know what would be cool? To be able to craft armor with uh, Tinker's Construct. And I actually think that's coming in some uh, other episode. Okay, clearly this is super dangerous for me. Let's see if we can get the tree growing with just that um, bone. Uh, 
Alright, goes automatically down, of course. Alright, is uh, you know what? I think it can't grow because of this annoying tree right here. So let's get an axe and get rid of that tree. Mm, well, might as well get that one, um, you know, destroyed because it's just taking space, basically. Uh, oh, alright, seems like I already cut the trunk. Oh, crap. Now this guy's pack a punch, I tell you. And the little babies don't do anything as far as I know. So, maybe he can become my mascot. Hello little guy, trying to kill me? You're not big enough. Oops, where it? Apparently I killed him, so that's cool. Um, Alright, let's go up there and beat some wood to the pulp. Pun not, not intended. I hate trees that have like a lot of branches because you have to like cut all the leaves around to find the missing wood, you know, and then like you think you've got everything and you come back after a few days and the leaves are still flying and it's like, oop, nope, you forgot one, so the leaves aren't gonna fall, they're just gonna float in the air magically. But I'm probably about done here. And that should be able to grow, I think. I'll be back. Alright, that should be enough. Let's try growing this tree again. Or for the first time. Three, four, and it's not growing. What's going on here? Okay, why don't I get some more bone meal? And try some more. Because I'm not using that last piece because I hate uh, using it all and then, you know, seeing that it doesn't work. No skellies, but there are some uh, octopuses though. Octopi? Octopuses? I really don't know, but what I do know is that they give me ink, and I'll be using that to get started in Thumbcraft one of these days. Come on, Skellies. You love me when I'm not looking for you. Why do you hate me now? Spiders, well, they're probably gonna run faster than me, so I should... Ooh, Skelly. Perfect. Um, you know what I need is a bow. Look at that special ore. And some more bones. Perfect. Oh, alright. So I don't think I can block with the um, Blade of Doom. But I can hold it to charge. So that's pretty neat. That's not neat, he is destroying me. Let's run away. Okay, that's gonna be like the worst situation possible trying to reach a skelly through the water. Alright, I'm gonna die, guys, so. Hope you had fun. Come on, come on! <laughs> ah, that was exciting. But it's not over yet. 
come on. No. Come on. Alright, seems like I'm safe and I can't sleep, I doubt it. Whew. And that's not the closest I've been to dying, but that was pretty close. Alright. Let's give a try to that um, bone meal. And I've got a bow apparently. That's cool. I'm gonna keep it in my miscellaneous chest, which is filling up quite fast. Alright, let's give that another try. And day, perfect. And I'm about done with the episode, but I just want to see that tree grow. And there really is nothing up here that could prevent it from growing. Oh, come on, this is... this is not cool. <gasps> there you go. Do you see that? And Skelly. And it seems like it, it ran out of energy. So I'm gonna um, cook some of this wood. Wait, do I have any wood? I'm just gonna get some charcoal from here and feed the engine and see it carried to completion. And that should slowly but surely get that tree down. Apparently it's also cutting that one which is a positive side effect. Let's see if we can help it. Alright, well, um, it's going slow enough. I might have to boost it with another engine or something, which will now be very doable since I'm gonna be getting all of that wood. And my goal, probably for next episode or um, off camera, is to automate the creation of um, charcoal. For, so I'll just like move all of that wood into my furnace and then uh, maybe to the generator so yep that's what I'm gonna be working on and this seems to be working although slowly um, hope you enjoyed watching so far I'll see you on episode um, 6 I think see you next time <laughs>